Hello there. Welcome to Teach Me Micro's introduction to Internet of Things with Node MCU series. In this episode, I will run you through the steps needed to program the Node MCU using the Arduino IDE. First, you need to download the Arduino IDE. On Google, search for Arduino IDE download. The first result is the page we're looking for. On that page, locate the version of the IDE that suits you. On the web page that follows, click the amount shown if you want to donate. If not, click just download. Click the downloaded installer to install the Arduino IDE. Once you have installed the IDE, it's time to install the ESP8266 core. On the IDE, click File then Preferences. On the additional board manager's URL field, paste the address to the ESP8266 core JSON file. The address is in the description box of this video. Click OK. Next, go to Tools, then Board, then Boards Manager. This will open the Boards Manager window. On the search field, type ESP8266, then click the install button that appears. Once the installation is finished, when you go to Tools then Board, two versions of Node MCU is now selectable. Now that we've finished setting up the Arduino IDE, it's time to download the driver for the Node MCU. Visit the page URL provided on the description of this video and click on the download link. When the download is finished, unzip the archive and click the included executable. This will install the needed driver. Now it's time to connect the Node MCU to your computer. The Node MCU uses a micro USB cable, so make sure you have one. On the Arduino IDE, click Tools, then Board and select your Node MCU board model. Now, just to test if your Node MCU board is good, go to File, then Examples, then Basics, then select the Blink Example Sketch. Upload the sketch. If the onboard LED on the Node MCU is blinking, your board is good and the setup has been successful. That's it for this episode. For the next one, we will create a web server using the Node MCU. Hit the subscribe button for more microcontroller tutorials.